What's up guys, this is Shivain and you're watching SoftPay. In this video, I will tell you guys how you can fix your problem that your camera is not working on Google Meet. Now, this is a viewer's request. So if you guys have any software related problems, you can just comment down below or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys. So now let's begin with the video. So the first thing that we are going to do is first discuss the solutions regarding this problem which might occur because of Google Chrome settings and then we'll move on to the Windows settings. So first let's deal with the Google Chrome settings. So once you open up your Google Meet and then you open up a meeting and if this problem is occurring for you that your camera is failed to load then what you can do is you can click on this small camera icon which is on the top right hand corner of your URL bar and here you will see which camera and microphone are being used by Google Meet. So make sure that you set continue allowing Google Meet to access your camera and microphone and also select the right camera in this selection box. After you have done that then click on three dots for more options and then click on settings. After you open up the settings then go to video and then select again the right camera which you want to be accessed by Google Meet and then select send resolution maximum to standard definition that is 360p. Then close down these settings and reload Google Meet and check whether this fixes your problem. If this still does not fix your problem, then you have to go to your Google Chrome settings and you can do that by clicking on the three dots on the top right hand corner of your entire Google Chrome screen and then go to settings. And then once you're in settings, click on privacy and security and in privacy and security, click on site settings. After you're in site settings, scroll down to permissions and then click on camera. Then once you're in camera, make sure that you select the right camera for which you want the settings to be changed. That is the camera that you want to use. And then make sure that you have selected ask before accessing. The next thing that you have to do is look for the Google Meet app in the settings. So for me, it is the HTTPS meet.google.com 443. So make sure that this app is not blocked and it is set under the allow column. Once you have ensured that and then in usage, just make sure that you clear all the data that is clear your site data and then close down Chrome and reopen it and then go to Google Meet again to check whether the problem is fixed or not. If it is still not fixed, then that means that it is not a problem in Google Chrome, but rather it is a problem in Windows itself. So let's deal with those solutions now. So the first thing that you have to do is go to your Windows settings and you can do that by clicking on start and then typing in settings. And then once you're in Windows settings, type in camera privacy settings. Once you open up your camera privacy settings, make sure that everything is on on this page. So your camera access for this device is on, your allow apps to access your camera is also on and all these applications are allowed to access your camera. Now, once you have done that, just restart your computer and reload Google Chrome and Google Meet and see if that fixes your problem. If this does not work, then we have another solution for this. And that is you go to your Windows search bar and then type in device manager. Once you open up your device manager, then just click on camera and then in camera, select the camera that you want to use. For me, it is the integrated camera. Then right click on it and then go to its properties. After you go to its properties, go to driver and then in the drivers tab, just click on uninstall device and then make sure that you do not select delete the driver software for this device and then click on uninstall. So after you uninstall this device, then just click on action and then scan for hardware changes. After you click on that, your camera should reappear back onto the device manager and then just right click on your camera again and this time click on update driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. Now once it finishes processing and if it says that the best drivers for your device are already installed and you restart your computer and reload Google Meet and if it does not fix your problem then what you can do is manually download the camera drivers from your manufacturer's website. So for me it is the integrated camera so I can download it from Lenovo's website for my particular device. And once you manually download them you can install those drivers by just following the procedure which is displayed on your screen. 
So if this still does not fix your problem, then we move on to the next solution and that is we use to reopen up the command prompt. So just click on the windows icon again and then search for command prompt and then right click on it and then run it as an administrator. Once you open up the command prompt, then just type in the following commands and I'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. So the first one is dism space slash online space slash clean up dash image space slash check health and then dism space slash online space slash clean up dash image space slash scan health and then dism space slash online space slash clean up dash image space slash restored health and then finally after all of these dism commands you run sfc space slash scan now so what these commands do is that they search your computer for any missing or broken files and then they automatically download or repair them for you so these commands are actually pretty helpful for most of the problems that you have in Windows 10. So after you run all of these commands and the process finishes, then just restart your computer and then check again whether the problem is fixed or not. If this problem is still not fixed, then the last solution that I can offer you guys, which is a pretty stupid solution, that you guys can look up the camera toggle key on your keyboard. So for me, it is the F8 key. So whenever I press Fn plus F8 or F8 key, it toggles my camera on and off. And this setting is different from the window setting that we just dealt with because this is as this setting overrides that one. So make sure that you toggle your camera on on your keyboard by pressing this button as you can see right here and then check whether this fixes your problem or not. If this still does not fix your problem, then you can just comment down below or email us and we will try to help you out and solve your problem. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.